Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to read individual variables from a file in R. So first of all, let's take a look at some data. The data that I'm going to read here, I'm going to show this in Excel, is uh, data that it, it represents the price of oil in dollars uh, for a barrel of oil over a 12-month period, and also in the corresponding 12 months, the price of gold in ounces. Um, note that there are no commas or dollar signs in these data here. This is a CSV file, a comma separated value file. So we uh, take, let's take a look at the code and we can see that in line number four and five here, we have uh, written the command using the read.csv function to read this file into R. So let's go ahead and run that. And we can see in the global environment on the right hand side here that the variable that we've created called price data has 12 observations of two variables. If we expand the price data variable, we can see that one variable is called oil and the second variable is called gold and it illustrates the values that are listed here. We can, uh, in our, once we've read in the data, um, it's normal practice for me to run the, the head function to check the first six lines. So let me run line number eight here. And we can see uh, in our output in the console the output of the head function uh, which shows the first six lines so we can see here that oil capital with a capital O small i and small l and the same for gold uh, are the headers and then we've got the six, first six values or the first six rows of the data set displayed here but how do we um, access the oil data on its own and the gold data on its own so here's how we do this. The first thing to remember is that we have read the file into a variable called price data. So that's the variable that contains all the data. And we know that the column, the first column in our data set is called oil and the second column or variable is called gold. So if I use the word price data and the names of the columns, then I should be able to access each individual data set. So here's how we do this. So first of all, type out price data. And then we use the dollar sign to link it to the variable name in the data set. Now, if I look at the data set, we can see, and this is why the head function can be useful, we can see that the first variable is called oil with a capital O. So put it, type that in exactly as it appears. And run, run that variable, and we can see in the output that all 12 values uh, in the data set for the uh, oil variable are displayed. Uh, note that if I misspell the data, so I'm going to use a small O here instead of a capital O. So this is a deliberate error here. So if I run this, uh, we will see that we don't get, uh, there's, there's no variable in the data set called oil with a lowercase O. So let me correct that, put it back in as a capital and rerun that and we get uh, it's displaying the oil variable. Note there's, we're not creating any new variables here, we're just uh, referring to the oil variable. Similarly, if I want to refer, pref, refer to the gold variable, it's price, data, um, dollar sign again, and gold. Again, being careful with the upper and lower cases. So run this line, and we can see in our console that the 12 values for the price of gold are listed. So now we know we can um, access individual variables in a data set, and we'd like to be able to do some basic analysis on this. So for example, let's say I wanted to calculate the mean price of the oil. So use the mean function. And so I don't want to use the mean for the price data. I need to tell it that I want to do it with for the price data plus the oil. So in the brackets here, type in price data, dollar sign again, and capital O I L. And when I run that line, that will give me the mean value, which is, we can see in the console, is $51.5 for the price of oil. Let's do the same for the gold. Price data, dollar sign gold. And again, run that. And the mean price for gold is $1,243.833. Again, if I make a, a deliberate error here by ch uh, changing the gold to a lower uppercase to a lowercase um, g here on line 14, if I run that, we can see we get an error message because there's no such variable called gold with a lowercase g. So use the head function to check what the names of the variables are, or the global environment, we can get the correct spelling of the, of the variable names. So I'm just gonna put a capital G back in there, uh, run this again, and we can see that we get the uh, mean price uh, for uh, in dollars for gold. Final thing I want to do here is uh, I can also, now that I have two variables in here, I can compare them to each other. So let's say I want to conduct a, a correlation between the price of oil and the price of gold. So to do that, I can use the car function, 
and I need to tell it the names of the two variables so we already know what they are. So the name for the oil data is price data dollar sign oil, again being very careful with our syntax, uh, comma then to separate these here and then do price data um, dollar sign and gold. So when I run this, uh, we can see our this is the car fun function here, the default uh, correlation coefficient is the Pearson correlation coefficient. Uh, we can see that it has given us a result of minus 0 0.17, so it's a negative correlation. Uh, the value is very low, very close to zero. So this is indicating to us that there's a very low correlation between the price of oil and the price of gold over that 12 month period represented by our data set. So uh, my challenge to you now is, is to uh, read in your own data set and try and check the contents, look at the headers, look at the tails, see if you can refer to individual variables and do some simple things like calculate the mean or the median or the mode or standard deviation or correlation as we have done here. So that's how you uh, read a, a file and uh, read individual variables in a data set. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.